Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jillian. You're watching The Post Whisper and here we like to do cash stuffings, talk budget, talk life, talk things like that. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then consider hitting that subscribe button. If you enjoy the content, uh, give us a wee like and have a wee chat to us in the comments because we love it. Today we are going to do cash stuffing and I have no idea how much money I have right now because I've been in and out and in and out of it so I'm just going to count the money with you right now and we'll see where we're at. This week was pay week so it's a bigger amount of money that we will be stuffing. It's also the start of our Halloween decorating. Um, it was hubby's birthday on the 2nd. No, the 3rd, oh Jean. On the 3rd of October and it's our anniversary on the 5th of October. So after that, that's when all the Halloween decorations get to get put up. So it's actually quite good because it gives me a wee bit of restraint. Like, you know, you can't do it right now. And then the house, the house would look like the Adams family house all year round if we did that. Which isn't a bad thing. I'm for it. But not everyone is. But anyway, it makes it that much more magical. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking all the gibberish and we'll count our cash to see what we've got. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 4. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Right, 440. I think that was right. 440. Okay, right. Let's pull up this here. Now I have got my spider web tablecloth. This is a drop leaf table so when the, the, the leaf side of it's down the cloth drapes over it so that's why it's a bit... Yeah, hello! <laughs> that's Otis. I'm coming over he just likes to be heard. So yep yeah, that's why this looks sort of weird. But Come here. Stop shouting. Come here. Okay. Otis will probably jump up at some point. Um, right. Let's get into it. How have it all been this week? It sort of turned into monsoon season here in ye old Scotland. Well, in the part of Scotland that I'm in anyway. Oh, right. First things first. I already put my shopping money in for this week and we spent it, this is our change but what I'm going to do is put in 20, 40, 60, 80, 1 and 20, 140, 160 and put 160 in and I'll pop this in here and that is pop it in there and that is for the rest of the month I don't what is it? I'm sorry, the washing machine's on, the cat's crying. Uh, I have no idea why. Come here. Come here. Uh, yep, yeah, so that's that. Same goes for miscellaneous. I have not actually put my £10 in for that this week. We'll put the £40 in and that will be for... The entire month, that's miscellaneous household type stuff like bleach and toilet roll and kitchen roll and all those. All that jazz. Personal. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, okay. I already put in my personal money this month, this week. And that, <laughs> okay. I will return. Okay, everyone. Sorry about that. I have returned. I fed the cat. He's decided it is now dinner time, so get up, stop doing what you're doing. So what I was saying was, I've already given myself my personal money this week, and I've spent some of it. Fuel. Now, fuel's not had anything yet, so I'll add that usual 20 in. Shopping. Right. What's shopping going to get? It's going to get a 20. And once this is in here, that means that I can pay it off. Very, and that's it done. So we now have 20, 35, and there'll be a wee bit left over because I think I've only got £17 to pay on my very account. Let's move this up a bit. Uh, friends, okay, okay, time with friends that is going to be getting a 10. 
Like I said, the Crab Shack is booked for this month. Um, but I'm just going to keep talking up because I don't know how much it's going to cost. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 130 and 135 and time of friends. Pets. Right, this is what's left from Otis and all these money. So we'll stick that up there right now. And they're going to be getting 40 put in. This is to cover things like anything they might need. Uh, if I get them toys, if I get them treats. Otis, he doesn't really get treats as such. He gets fed just a plain diet of chicken. Always comes uh, every month that gets delivered to the house. It's frozen, so this is just for the bits and bobs that the cats may need throughout the month. Family fun. I was going to get a 10. We've still got some dough in here. We've got 35 in here because, like I said last time, any time we do anything family-wise, Duncan keeps footing the bill and I'm going to let him carry on as long as I like. So, we now have 20, 30, 45. Uh, at the minute, all of our family fun things are revolving around about Halloween. So, decorations are up. I will give you... If you like, I'll give you a little tour of the haunted house that we have, <laughs> um, that we live in, that we call home. It's actually it's really good. It's really fun. Um, but that'll be next week because we've just got everything up today and was like, no fine tuning and tweaking that has to be done. Um, right, let's see. Duncan now his wallet did get decimated because it was his birthday. So we spent quite a lot out of this. So we're going to start topping him back up again and we're going to give him a £10. So he now has 20 Cami, he is also going to be getting a 10 this week. So has him got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. This is building up quite nicely. Angela, she's also going to get a 10 this week. This is Duncan's sister. And... This is to go towards her 50th next year. So let's give her a 10. And she now has 20, 40, 50 and 60. That's building up nice as well. We'll probably take a bit more money out of this and add it into her as the Christmas savings card. Oops. Uh, gifts. Okay. Gifts is going to get five this week. So gifts now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90 and 95. It's also building up nice because my goal is to always have this sitting at 200. That is the, let's have 200. Sitting in here all the time. The next birthday I have got is my mum's and that's going to be in November. Dining out. Right. Myself and Hobby are going away for the weekend. So that's what this money is going to be used for. Um, now as an anniversary present, he's booked the hotel and things like that. Um, it says, I don't need to put my hand in my pocket, I don't need to pay for anything. But I can't do that, I have to go with some cash. So the dining out, this is essentially like our date night wallet. So I'm going to add 20 into that. And now has 20, 40, 60, 80, 95. We're going to be away for two nights, so I will be spending money on something. I don't know what, but probably. Even if I put it towards the fuel, that's that. Health is going to get a 10. Now, health, this covers things like new glasses for me or for Cami or things like paracetamol, cough bottle, things like that. We live in Scotland, we're very lucky, we get free healthcare and we also get free prescriptions. So this we don't need a lot of money into health, but I am going to ramp this up a bit because, who knows, maybe one day we will need private healthcare. Fingers crossed we don't, but we'll just keep adding to it. Slowly but surely. So we now have 24 to 60, 80, 95 in health. Also, I'm going to be needing new specs. Probably in the next year, I think. So, yes, there we go. That is our medium priority finder done. 
and let's get on to our long term binder. Right, so car maintenance is going to get its usual £10 this week. So, and um, here now we have 100 in the bank, plus 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20. So, we've got 220 in car maintenance total. Uh, if you were here last week, you will know the script with this folder. Um, this was <laughs> um, basically I'm an idiot and I paid off the wrong bill with this. This is my annuals. So this is for car insurance, car tax, house insurance, things like that. Annual things. And I paid off my credit card instead of my road tax and then I got a very scary letter in from the DVLA saying why haven't you paid this? So yeah, this is why this is now empty. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add in £10 and start building this up again for our house insurance bill, which will be coming out in January. So we now have 10, 15, 20 and 25 in there. To be fair, the house insurance is not a lot. It's a small flat we live in and we don't have a lot of valuables. <laughs> right, emergency. Now, I did borrow from this, but as soon as I got paid, I just took that money out of my account and paid myself back. So this is sitting where it's supposed to be. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to add in £30 to emergency. So that now gives us £1,500 in the bank. Plus 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 40, 50. 1,650 in emergency. And I think next week we might be able to colour off an extra box on our emergency tracker. We are getting close to having two months worth of bills in that. Now utilities, normally whenever I get paid I put extra money into this. I put £100 a month into this and this is for our gas and electricity. I am not going to do that this month and I don't know why. Normally I add in £100. I'm not doing it this month. I don't know why. You would think I would continue to add into it, but we've got five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine hundred pounds in the bank for extra energy money if we need it. We're going to have our month of October. We're going to see how high it is because I don't think our heating is actually going to be an issue. I think it's going to be the electricity bill that's going to kill us. Uh, so yeah, we'll just we'll see. We'll get our first bill. October bill out of the way and we'll just see how that goes. Right, Christmas. Christmas is going to be getting a 10. So in Christmas we now have 100 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30. So we've got 230 for Christmas. I'm not going to go particularly hard on this wallet because we try to keep things nice and simple here. Um, we have our Tesco vouchers and our Tesco stamps for food and things like that, so that's covered. This is purely for gifts, and it's really just gifts for Cammy, Duncan, Angela, and the rest of the family who do a Secret Santa. So it's, um, oh, my nephew as well. So but we don't need loads and loads and loads in the Christmas wallet. We do tend to try and keep it nice and simple and easy. Halloween. Halloween, we took our £10 out of here. We went to Lidl. And we spent far more than £10 on Halloween sweeties. We spent £38 on Halloween sweeties. Um, but to be fair, they're a lot more than they usually do. They brought out some extra stuff. Um, so yeah, that's a way. And I'm still going to have to add into this uh, £10. £10 do not have enough. No. Right. <clears throat> I don't have enough money here to add in everything I'd like to add in. So we're going to skip Halloween. I was supposed to put... Oh. Oh, I'm really short. Really, really, really short. Okay. Right, house and maintenance. I'm going to put a 10 in here. 
this no. Let me see. Oh. I'm going to need to give that a double check, but okay. Oh, I know why I'm short. I know why I'm short. Because I'm an idiot. That's why I'm short. Oh. That's why I'm short. I've put too much money in here. I need to take out 40. Aha. Uh -huh. Because I've already added in the £40 for this week's shopping. I put it all in. Never mind. Never mind. It's sorted. It's fine. Okay. Right. So, what we're going to do is add 20 into house. And that means I can get rid of this handwritten placeholder. And put in another 100. Woof, woof. Right, okay. Right, 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 right. Is it just me or is that washing machine really loud? I'm sorry. This is the only time I've got to fill. Um, right, so we added that £20 in. We did, didn't we? Yes, we did. So we now have 1000 sitting in the bank plus 300 so 1300 in the bank. 20 30 1330 pounds in our housing maintenance. Right, oh, yeah, fright there. <laughs> okay, so we are putting money into Halloween. What are we putting in? £10. £10 is going into Halloween. This is just in case we need anything else, which we probably will because we grossly, grossly underestimated how much money we were going to need. Right, um, appliances is going to get five. So we now have 15 in here, that's in case anything breaks, appliance wise, pretty self explanatory. And the kitchen is going to get 20. Now, this actually has a purpose now. In November, I am going to Edinburgh to meet my friend who lives in Orkney. Her daughter lives in Edinburgh and she's coming down to. Um, she's coming down to go to her daughter's engagement party. I've also been invited to it. We're pretending that we're not going to go and then we're going to go and surprise her. So, um, and it's fine because she doesn't watch her channel. So we now have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, is that right? 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 91. 110 pound on vacation. The hotel room is already paid for. That was 160 bucks. So, that will be for that and also spending money and yada yada yada. Right, vet. So the rollover money for the pet wallet goes into vet. Because as you know, if you are a regular subscriber, my vet retired and left me broken hearted. So we need to save up for the cats in case they have any other vet issues because vets are absolutely extortionate. Ah, okay. So now 24 to 60, 81. £105 in our vet wallet. Right, so that is that. All of our binders are stuffed. This is exciting. I have got loads of smash to go into the penny challenge. We've got in total £22.56. Fish bag balls. I am determined to get this finished by the end of the year. I don't know if I will, but we'll, we'll try. Right. Okay. What's this? I've got two pound coins that we need to take out from Nessie, and I've just realised that I haven't brought Nessie over with me. I've lost me, Nessie. But to be fair, because <laughs> because of the Halloween decorations that we put out everywhere, everything's a bit higgledy piggledy and all over the shop. But yeah, right, so these will go to the side. We'll pop these to the side and we'll put them in there, see, when we can find her. This here is £22.56. So I'm going to pop that in the tin. There we go. And I've already got this pre-marked off because nobody wants to sit and watch me try and do math. 
So for our 2256, that means we can mark off 280, 279, 278, 277, 276, 275, 274, 273. And that leaves us with 44 pence. 44 pence too much, but I've just flung it in the tin. Just because. Just let it go. I was going to roll it over, but for the sake of 44 pence. 44 or 41, 44 pence. I'll just leave it. Throw it in the tin. Well, 44 pence extra at the end. So that's that. Penny challenge done. And last but not least, we have our Tesco stamps. So how many do we have this week? We have got one, two, three, four Tesco stamps for this week. And we should be getting our last lot of vouchers through soon. I think it's... I think the 20th is... Oh, let the washing machine finish. I think the 20th of October is the last day that we get to save up. Or we get to add anything to our Tesco vouchers. So that'll be here soon. And then we'll get our November vouchers through in the mail. And then we will add it into this. No, I don't get them through in the mail anymore to get them on the app. Ah, oh, my goodness. See when you try and do things in a rush and then you end up talking the biggest load of guff. Right, so that is that. We have our four stamps added in. I envision all of this book done by November. And then we'll start another one for December. We'll just see how it goes. I do not have a goal for this. We're just filling up and filling up and filling up. We've got that one and that one and that one. These are all filled up. Nicely, nice, 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 nice. That's oh, does that not just look so good? Is that not so satisfying to see? Oh, yes. Uh, anyway, right. So this is what we have so far. You fill this up with forty nine stamps. Month of December, you give you a bonus of one pound, so it's fifty pound per book. We plan on using these in December. So yeah, that's us. We've got twenty two in here. £172 that adds up to just now plus when our Tesco vouchers are tallied up from November I'll add it on to here currently we have a total of £65 in Tesco vouchers that will all get added into this so we'll have over the £200 definitely for our Christmas and New Year shop Whew. right okie dokie so that is us all done for today if you enjoyed this, then please consider giving us a little subscribe and a thumbs up and a comment. I love talking to you all. Um, if you made it to the end, smashing. And also, of course, the washing machine finishes right now at the end of the video. Ain't that just the way of it? Right, this here is to go to Nessie. I will pop that in her later on. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. I will see you again next week. And bye. Take care. Enjoy your week. Toodles.